welcome to round five of the Intercontinental Rally Challenge. Unlike the previous rally in Yalta, the Gecko Eep Rally is a traditional stop for the IOC, well known for its spectacular high-speed asphalt stages where the speeds exceed 190 kilometers per hour, often breaking into 90-degree corners. We are in the western part of Belgian Flanders, not too far from the coast, so the weather can change within minutes, adding to the challenge. All that and cut corners inevitably bringing stones and mud onto the roads. Hi, you join me at the service park at the marketplace at the heart of Ypres. And this is just one of the factors that makes this rally so special. The fans, the setting, the atmosphere are incredible. The rally has already taken many victims, even in these early stages. So let's get straight on with day one highlights. Yes, glorious scenery around the beautiful city of Ypres. Yes. The Geeko Eep Rally and always takes plenty of prisoners. And I have to tell you, already we have plenty been taken this very day. Overall then, 18 special stages covering 288 kilometers in total. We're in Flanders. Yes, uh, we're not here for the scenery, however. We're here for the rallying and it doesn't get much tougher than this. Abundant rally fans everywhere. Jerry Norville and Freddie Loikes, the main draws at the beginning of the day, but they'll be there at the end. Superb backdrop, this ancient city of Ypres. The cathedral and the central market halls providing a spectacular service part. Flanders, known for attracting tourists en masse, but uh, with its beautiful architecture and landscape and real tranquility. Yeah, it's only broken, of course, by the rally itself. Beautiful town, vibrating with the life, and indeed absolutely ram-packed with thousands of rally fans. So what's Skoda brought to the party then? Plenty is the answer. Freddie Loikes, he's in the official lineup. 40 years of age, six times a winner here. Yes, Loikes missed Yelta, and uh, well, the 40-year-old is desperate to get back on track. He's joined at Skoda by Jan Kopetsky, who could overtake the championship leader, Euro Hannanen, who misses this round, don't forget. Well, with Loikes and Kopetsky on board, who else? Well, Bert Kaiser is the answer. Local boy, sure to impress. What about Peugeot? Who are they bringing to the fight? Well, Thierry Novel, of course. Yes, uh, he versus uh, Guy Wilkes, you might say, within the same team. Neuville, yes, uh, third last season here, has developed into a formidable force since then, claiming a podium in the Canaries and winning in Corsica. Wilkes still looking for that elusive victory. Maybe it'll happen this time by, absent from the podium since uh, Monte Carlo, wants to take a step forward. Peter Toshian, as well, is also on hand with some local knowledge. What about Abbas? Well, with Luca Rossetti on board, former Eat winner, don't forget, uh, taking victory on his debut in 2007 in a Persia. Now armed with an Abbas Grandi Punta, the Italian, a big fan of, a fan, of, uh, a fan of rally, and the fans love him almost equally. With four IOC wins to his name, Rossetti is a threat, most definitely. Proton. P.G. Anderson and Jan Domenico Basso here banking on continued improvement to their factory proton, Satria Neos. Yes, it's looking better and better with every single round, the yellow machine. What will they do this time by? Well, this is how the championship stacks up right now. Hannanen skipping this one yet again. Kopetsky could take a step forward. Bouffier back into uh, real form with Neuville hoping for uh, some more luck to come his way. Uh, Guy Wilkes equally so. Six in the championship so far. And Bruno Megalesh also making a return for this one. Skoda then top the standings in the manufacturers, but not by much for the time being. 12 points separate they and Peugeot coming into this one. I've got to tell you, bad news right from the off. Uh, Jan Kopetsky and Peter Stary are out before it's even started. A crash in the shakedown has left Stary in a lot of pain overnight. He tried to get into the car with the seat belt, the hands device and all the rest. It was just too much to bear, the pain that is. Yes, yeah, suspected broken right collarbone is the reason. We are very disappointed because uh, we believe that uh, we, we would be able to, to do a really great result over here because the car was really perfect. But after this, uh, I think still uh, the health is, is more important than, than the result. 
three-point deficit on the title leader Kavetsky. It was one of the favourites to win, or at least take a podium here in Belgium. In terms of finishing the Eat Rally, yes, unfortunately, and taking that series lead uh, now out of his grasp. We wish, of course, Peter Stari a speedy recovery. So, what about that stage one? And uh, the rest of it today, some of it's in the dark or near dark in the middle of summer as we are. Rossetti, Luca Niavar, yes, uh, a mean cleaner of lines, you might say. He's uh, reporting a slippery stage, a lot of dust out there. Yes, dust, you're right, been dry in this part of the world. Yes, uh, still with some changes to make. He says the uh, setup is an issue. Uh, not doing bad right out of the box, though. Seventh quickest on this one. Second on the road, Brian Bouffier. Also reporting a real, real slippery stage out there with the dust. Kicked up mud, incidentally. Uh, needs to score here. Not had a great run so far in the IRC since uh, his win in Monte Carlo, but he is coming back and was all right last time out, don't forget. Third on uh, the opening stage of the day. Freddie Loikes, the one they were all waiting for. It's quite important for me to be uh, to win this rally. At least to be on the podium, because uh, I, I only have seven rallies to do the championship so uh, I gotta try to take uh, the maximum of points. Freddie third on the road after Kapetsky's withdrawal of course fastest in the first stage of the rally good straight out of the box uh, six rally wins here so far don't forget can he make it a lucky seven well he says he needs uh, to keep it in the championship or on the road I should say as well he's um, still hoping for a big chance to take a huge step forward, maybe even the title itself, we'll see at the end of the year. Thierry Noga will be battling him for that, though. Uh, in the Peugeot, as opposed to Skoda, yes, uh, reports that uh, the drives uh, were and difficult. The corner, uh, and then, unfortunately, uh, with a big cut, uh, this. We, we lost the, the outside wheel, uh, the wheel was broken, and uh, we had to, to continue because there was no place to stop, and we continued over 500 meters, and then. Uh, the chassis arm was on the road and uh, we damaged them and uh, no possibility to fix them after. What a shame. Nogel retiring damage suspension with that front white right wheel on that left hander. Well, he wasn't to be the last out there, I'm afraid. Andreas Mickelson. It's just in a junction uh, left. And uh, 90 we left where we uh, we were breaking. We hit the throttle a little bit too early and a little bit under steer out. And the, the, front, the front dry tire just uh, went off the tarmac, but it was a ditch there, so it was just dragged out. So nothing we could do. Next up, Guy Wilkes. No, nope, don't worry. Uh, thumbs up, thank goodness. Uh, he's been here before 2009 in a proton, of course. Uh, competitive tires back then. Missed last year due to back injury. You may remember. Certainly lost vital seconds avoiding a stricken cars of Nerville and Mickelson. You need to be very brave and also you'd have to have a lot of control. Um, you know, if you, you have to be very brave to get the speed in the fast parts and you have to have a lot of control to keep the speed in the slow, spot, slow parts but not make any mistakes. Bruno Megalis said he had a good feeling going into Eve. Been here before, sixth last year, don't forget. Two spares in the back for uh, stage one. Uh, fourth on the first stage of the rally, said he needs to go quicker and find his rhythm. Peter Schoen, yes, first of the local drivers, uh, contesting for the Benson Championship as well, using uh, a different co-driver, his regular, Eddie Chevalier, injured in a crash last week, uh, running fifth overall, not bad at all. Hans Weiss as well. The Dutchman, first stage in an S2000 car, can you believe it? Six overall, said he needs to uh, learn the car a bit more, but he's learning quickly and causing quite a few raised eyebrows. Rob Barava, yes, he's here as well. The Irishman putting in some great performances. Perhaps in Colony, eighth overall. Super work. Tony Gardemeister, first time here, don't forget in Eep, but uh, ninth in this opener here, boding well. Another Skoda indeed in the top ten. Jesper Vanden Heuvel, yes, uh, one of uh, the rally art boys out here. Yes, in the uh, R4, proving that uh, they succeeded in their plan in closing the competition down. 11th overall, great show for uh, the first big rally since that big incident nine months previous. 
Yes, next up, more of day one.